Okay, it's becoming more apparent on how shorter these episodes are getting, and it's becoming a worry since we are down to the last two episodes here. But I'll share more thoughts in the end, and let us get into the main point of reviewing this episode. Obi-Wan is being carried away, badly burned, and makes it to Jabim and gets himself in a back to tank. Though during this time, he gets flashbacks of seeing Anakin when he got burnt, and at the same time, Vader is also in his back to tank, and they share the same flashbacks. A parallel you could say to how Rey and Kylo connected their minds together through the Force. Obi-Wan decides to swim up even though his wounds haven't fully healed and Tala tells him that they are at Jabim. Then we go to a small moment of Leia and Cuffs demanding to be released as Reva comes in to tell her that Obi-Wan is dead and no one is coming after her. Obi-Wan and Tala go to Rogan and he's pretty upset at Tala that she had brought him to their hideout since they are supposed to be hidden from the Empire. But Obi-Wan pleads that he needs to save Leia from the Inquisitor's base and they come up with a plan to sneak their way inside since Tala still has her cover to go inside. As they are on the shuttle, Obi-Wan tries to use the force a bit but he isn't fully recovered and it is weak. We go back to Leia and Reva as Reva tells her about the path and the hideout they were in and demands her on where the rest of the survivors are at. And it's pretty obvious that she doesn't know anything about it. But the writing of the show says otherwise and that makes it Reva thinks otherwise too. <laughs> Eventually Tala's shuttle makes it at the base and walks through like nothing. Even though she got stopped once, she still made it through and look looks through the lower maps to guide Obi-Wan as he is swimming to find the open port. Okay, I'm gonna say it here, this does get repetitive between going with Leia and Reva and Obi-Wan and Tala, and it is annoying me. But Reva is mind reading Leia and yet she doesn't find anything and Lola gets taken away from Leia yet again. Obi-Wan gets lost and it's at the worst moment for Tala to get questioned on why she is there and takes it in her own matters when there are clearly other members that were there that should have heard something about that. But then we go back to Reva asking Leia one last time and Leia tells her that she doesn't know anything and decides to punish her. As Obi-Wan rushes to find Leia, he finds himself in another room and to our surprise, this is basically what Obi-Wan said what this place is, a tomb of all the Jedi's that were hunted and imprisoned. It actually gives a parallel to Rebels like how Luminara's body was imprisoned yet her force abilities was still intact. Leia gets into shock contraption and until the machine starts, Reva gets interrupted to be summoned and she leaves. We find out that it is Tala who asks for Reva and of course she is a terrible liar to stall an Inquisitor that gives Obi-Wan the opportunity to save Leia but unfortunately alerts the probe droid as the whole place gets an alarm. Then they try to escape as stormtroopers attack him and he uses his lightsaber to fight back and they go to a hallway to block off a fire shot then hits glass. He tries to keep the glass in as much as he can but eventually lets go and escapes out of the hallway to make, make it to the other side with Leia and Tala. Then they try to sneakily escape with Obi-Wan and Leia being the, in the worst disguise ever and Revo eventually finds them and when all seems hopeless, two ships were able to come down to fire at the base and one of them lands to get the three inside. Even though they were able to get out, unfortunately one of those ships got exploded from Reva. But of all the things that happened here in this episode, this is something I was not expecting to see. As Inquisitors are in the meeting room, Vader storms in and quickly force chokes, chokes Reva and demands her on where Obi-Wan is and she says that she puts a tracker on them and it will lead them to where they are at. Now, I think this should have been completely true that Vader would have instantly killed her on sight and I'm pretty much upset as how the fifth brother was when he told her that they fired on their base. As Rogan sees them, he asks about the other pilot and of course it goes quiet to realize for him that he is dead. Though we do get a small moment of loss on one side, we see a sweet moment of Leia holding Obi-Wan's hands as a reuniting moment. But to our surprise, we see that Lola is back in Leia's pocket and it's clear to know that the droid is the tracker. Overall, to me, this episode was a 7.5 for me because it got pretty annoying to see the transitions and Vader clearly just siding for Reva and we still have no information about her. All I have to say is that these last two episodes better be worth it or else I will not hear the end from Green Warrior 291 on this channel. But I hope you guys had a good time watching this review video and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!